lots and lots and lots. A lot of effort to shut down the truth as well, a lot of censorship. Someone posted on my BitChute page that they'd actually taken the link from Twitter to get there, and Twitter had told them that it was a dangerous link. They probably shouldn't go there. Link to a video on BitChute. Dangerous link, folks. May cause harm to your computer. May cause harm to your brain by helping you think a little bit clearer, I suppose. That's there problem and BitChute itself has actually been under a pretty major attack I think we need to support BitChute at the moment folks because yeah it's been under a pretty major attack saying that it's a hotbed for terrorism and all sorts of rubbish you know I mean because BitChute is uncensored you can sort of upload whatever you want to it sometimes stuff gets through that's you know pretty extreme you know, and the management does their best. The CEO does his best to remove it. You know, all the stuff that's illegal, stuff promoting, like, genuine terrorism, you know. Any, any like, you know, ultra-violent shit, I mean, you know, stuff that's just distasteful and bad. I mean, I don't agree with censorship, but, you know, there's some shit. You, I mean, you've got to draw the line somewhere. You don't want child porn or whatever being uploaded to your video server. But BitChute's been under a pretty major attack. There was a hit piece that was done on it recently saying it's a hotbed for terrorism and stuff. I actually get more than a passing mention in this uh, hit piece done on BitChute, which is interesting. Interesting that I'm attracting so much attention. But I guess because a lot of people are listening. You know, we're at a really important time in history, folks. We really are. And what's happening here is a major crime. What the governments are doing is a crime. It's a crime against humanity, a huge crime. That's what these doctors are saying, the 500 doctors in Germany is saying that this is a crime. It's a crime against humanity. We've got politicians who are actually acting in a criminal and irresponsible manner. Also, getting back to BitChute as well, the, uh, the attack that's happening with BitChute, and it was in which I seem to feature prominently. I'll put a link to a PDF article below. You can go and read it for yourself. But uh, I was informed, I, I mentioned the other day that um, the LRB Y app has been removed from Google Play Store. And so you're not able to get that. But there's another site called F-Droid, where apparently you can get still get apps that are, you know, it's like Google Play Store, but without the censorship. f Dash droid dot org. So uh, perhaps LRBY can put their app available on that site. And there's also an app you can get for BitChute, which is called BitSlide. So for people who ha are having trouble with BitChute, you know, I, I see reports of some people having trouble with things loading or whatever, or trouble with the comment section. I don't really know. I don't. I don't have much trouble with it at all. Um. There is BitSlide you can get for those people who use cell phones. You can get this app called BitSlide, and that might help you with any problems you're having with BitChute. That's just one thing anyway. I've got some notes here, so I'm trying to remember stuff to say. There's so much stuff to talk about, folks. Um, I've got a couple of websites I want to show you as well. I want to go inside and show you through a couple of websites, the Quantum Financial Service. And uh, check out what they're doing with this new currency. And like I said, tie it in with all the other legislation that's being enacted. And bear in mind that this, this pandemic is fake. It's a quantifiable fraud. Anything that they're doing on the back of this pandemic is part of the plan. And it's really important to remember that. Like I said, folks, he comes and goes. He shows up when he wants to. Nice for him to show up and do a little dance for us like that. But yeah, looking at that quantum financial system. That's freaky stuff, you know. When you think about it, the complete AI control that, that provides. But the stranglehold that the media has got over information, the media just, just presents whatever story it wants. And people just buy into it. 
It's crazy, folks. It's crazy. So, you know, in this situation, you know, what do you do? The best thing you can do is, is spread information to as many people as you can and, you know, hunker down just so that you'll get through. Wherever you are, I mean, hunker down. I was talking about po the possibility of even leaving Australia on the last report that I did. But, I mean, you know, I really like living here in this shed. I've lived in this shed here for like six, seven years now. I don't ever plan on moving. I've been told I can have it for the rest of my life, and this is where I intend to stay. But even if I did want to travel overseas, I mean, uh, I've thought about it, but I don't think you can actually travel overseas at the moment. I don't think Australians can travel overseas. Perhaps foreigners can leave the country if there are foreigners in Australia. I think perhaps they can leave the country. I mean, if I look up flights online, you can find flights out of the country. You can book flights. But... Um, I don't think Australians are actually allowed to leave. I don't know. I mean, I only know what I've been told. I haven't really looked into it. Like, I haven't tried to buy a ticket or anything like that. I don't really know where I'd go. But, you know, when you look at everything that we're facing, it's hard to know what to do about it, folks, apart from spread information and hunker down, make sure you and your family is looked after. No, it's the fact that you've got to pay to be alive to begin with is the problem. The fact that people even believe they can own the earth. I've never been able to figure that out, how people believe they can own a part of the earth. I mean, sure, I mean, I can appreciate that, you know, I wouldn't be able to rent this shed that I live in if the guy who owns the property didn't own the property. He'd be renting it off someone else and they'd, you know, so, I mean, it wouldn't work. I mean, the, the system that's there, I mean, I, I'm finding my way through it the only way I can because we've all got to pay to be alive. It's just a prerequisite. But still, the whole, the whole concept of, of land ownership is a weird thing. It's a weird thing, but it's, it's the financial trap. It's the economic trap that is the problem. They probably get labelled as a rogue state or something by the rest of the world. If you get the whole country to go back to tribal law in Australia, you'd probably get Australia labelled as a rogue state They'd say, oh, there's been some coup or whatever. The, the mainstream media, or mass media would play whatever they want. Then you get the UN coming here and bombing the shit out of the place or something. I mean, you know. The same with these alternate communities. They can just say, oh, look, it's another Waco and then go and napalm the whole lot of you. That's, that's the way they're setting it up. And with the stranglehold the media has got over everything, it's really difficult to know what the solution is. I mean, the solution is non-compliance, but it's non-compliance to the tech as well. You can find these memes everywhere. If you just search for COVID memes or even go to my website, there's a memes page. I haven't uh, added a lot to it. I have updated the website recently. I've changed the headlines and I've done a few things. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get back onto the website, folks. It's been difficult. I've been trying to get through the emails. So they're kind of red pilling the whole world in this way. And the fact that there's so many hit pieces being done against places like BitChute, hit pieces against me, huge campaigns against me at the moment, crazy stuff. But that's the way it goes, folks. That's when you know you're making a difference. So you've got to be encouraged by the fact that, you know, they're so reckless and so haphazard in what they're doing. They're really going fast trying to roll this out because they're totally losing the information war. Too many people are getting the picture, too many people are waking up, and so they've got to push it out as quick as they can, and in, in a way that's encouraging. Until they shut me down altogether everywhere, which they seem to be trying to do, but I'll keep going for as long as I can, folks, and, you know, up, up, up to everybody to make a difference in their own community, really. You know, that's where it comes down to, action on the ground where you live, simple non-compliance, and simply connecting with your neighbours, connecting with the people around you. So, hold on to your hats. But thank you to all the people who send me so many kind emails. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you to everybody. And I'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. It'll be tomorrow or the next day. I've got a couple of interviews coming up in the next few days. So um, you'll find them on, the, on my website as well. I mean, a lot of people have said they're having trouble finding me on BitChute as well. If you just go to my website, thecrowhouse.com, and you click the BitChute link from there, that will take you directly to my channel. Or you can just go check the radio archives and there's stuff in there that I don't upload to BitChute or anywhere. There's interviews there that are on Instagram and interviews on other platforms. 
that I don't really use that all get posted in my radio archives as well. So do be sure to check there for new information. But I'll talk to you soon, folks.